Superstar Usher's fascination with real estate began at the young age of 13 when he visited music producer Ellie Reed's mansion in Alpharetta, Georgia. By 1999, Usher purchased the historic 10,000 square foot estate for $1.2 million. After adding significant personal touches like a home dance studio, he sold it in 2018 for $1.5 million. In 2007, Usher acquired a sleek Atlanta property near the Mercedes-Benz Stadium, which was a modern home with three beds, three baths, a rooftop deck, and an open concept layout. Post-divorce in 2015, Usher bought a Spanish-style home in West Hollywood for $3.3 million, but these homes were also sold off. More recently, in 2022, Usher bought the Hollywood Hills home of Cara and Poppy Delavine for $3.4 million. This eclectic property showcases unique design choices, and this is still Usher's current residence. Usher Raymond was born in 1978 in Dallas, Texas, and he experienced the rhythm of music early in life. Raised in Chattanooga, Tennessee, his journey into the world of music began within the walls of his local church choir, where his talent was already clear. Usher's mother, Janetta Patton, recognized his extraordinary vocal gift and became a guiding force in nurturing it. Usher's rise to fame began with the release of his debut self-titled album Usher in 1994 when he was only 15. While the album hinted at his potential, it was the release My Way in 1997 that propelled him into the limelight. Throughout the late 90s and early 2000s, Usher's career soared with consecutive hits like You Remind Me and You Got It Bad. The release of his Confessions album in 2004 further solidified his status. Beyond the glitz and glamour of the stage, Usher's commitment to family and his home has been a huge part of his identity. His mother, Janetta, played a huge role in his personal and professional development. One of Usher's early high-profile relationships was with Chili Rosonda Thomas from the iconic group TLC. The pair's chemistry extended from their collaborative work on the hit song You Got It Bad to a romantic connection that captured the public. While it didn't work out between them and Usher made some mistakes, they were an it couple for quite some time. Following his romance with Chili, Usher's love life took another turn when he married Tamika Foster in 2007. The union marked a chapter of both joy and scrutiny as the couple faced public attention, and not the good kind. Their marriage resulted in the birth of two sons, Usher Raymond V and Naveed Eli Raymond. However, this relationship faced challenges and led to divorce in 2009. In 2015, Usher embarked on on a new chapter of love when he secretly married his manager, Grace Miguel, in Cuba. This intimate ceremony signaled a more private approach to his personal life. They shared several years together, but in 2018, Usher and Grace announced their separation. Amidst the highs and lows of Usher's love life, one constant has been his commitment to his kid. Usher's role as a father has remained a steady and grounding force, regardless of the changing dynamics in his romantic relationships. When it comes to Usher's homes, there's something the singer had his eye on long before he began investing, and one in particular. As legend has it, Usher knew he found the mansion he'd one day own at the age of only 13. It was 1991 and Usher had just visited a stunning home in Alpharetta, Georgia, owned by music producer L.A. Reid. Usher said in 2003 about the property, I came into this house and I remember walking through it just being mesmerized by everything I saw. And it was like, one day, I want to own a house like this. The singer would go on to purchase this exact home at 21. Usher fulfilled his dream of owning this Georgia mansion in 1999 when he bought it for $1.2 million. By that year, Usher's platinum single, You Make Me Wanna, was getting a ton of play on the radio. He just landed a role on the sitcom Moesha and more. With some big developments happening in his professional life, he made a big investment on his dream home and he'd end up living here for years. The massive home spanned 10,823 square feet of space and featured a grand foyer with black marble columns, an open hallway on the second floor looking down into the living room, a black marble fireplace surrounded by bookcases, 
and a master bedroom with a black and gold poster bed. During his ownership, Usher put his mark on the residence, making thoughtful modifications to reflect his taste and lifestyle. Also made things more modern. The foyer sets the tone for the elegant yet inviting ambiance of the house. The living room featured a black marble fireplace and mahogany bookcases, but Usher transformed it with rustic wooden elements herringbone pattern brick and floating shelves. The master bedroom, described by Usher as real elegant yet very warm yet very sexy, received updates such as a farmhouse inspired Dutch door leading to the yard. The kitchen underwent a vibrant makeover with a muted teal island, marble countertops, a farmhouse sink and sliding metal door creating a stylish and functional space. Noteworthy additions to the mansion include a home dance studio equipped with floor to ceiling mirrors and a state of the art sound system, a home theater, yoga studio, spa and sauna. Outside the property boasts a heated pool and summer kitchen providing a perfect blend of luxury and entertainment. In 2018, after two decades of calling this place home, Usher successfully sold the Alpharetta, Georgia mansion for $1.5 million. Nearly a decade passed before Usher acquired another property in Atlanta in 2007. This time he invested $970,000 in a three bed, three bath residence close to Mercedes Benz Stadium. Spanning just under 3,000 square feet, this modern home boasted an appealing rooftop deck and an open concept layout, flooded with natural light through oversized windows. The interiors showed a sleek dark palette featuring black painted walls complemented by light hardwood floors. The kitchen continued the dark theme, featuring a large black and white marble island surrounded by black cabinets. Usher sold this property at a loss at $775,000 in 2019. In 2015, the same year they wed, he invested $3.3 million in a Spanish style home in West Hollywood, just above the iconic Sunset Strip. Originating from the 1920s, this residence encompassed 4,261 square feet across three stories, featuring five beds and four full baths and two half baths. Usher's penchant for dark walls persisted in this home, seen in the double height entryway with contemporary art against jet black walls. The home included amenities like a state-of-the-art home theater with velvet curtains, a master suite with private terrace and two-person soaking tub, as well as a family room with French doors leading to a deck overlooking the pool. Additionally, two ensuite guest bedrooms offered flexibility for conversion into fitness studios. This house became the unfortunate scene of a robbery, where Usher and Grace suffered a loss of $20,000 in cash, along with an array of valuable jewelry and watches, including one reportedly worth $220,000. During this incident, the property was listed for $4.2 million. Following their split later that year, the couple let go of the property a few months later, fetching precisely the amount they invested, $3.3 million. In summer 2022, Usher reportedly shelled out $3.4 million for Cara and Poppy Delavine's eclectic Hollywood Hills home, and it's where he still lives. The sisters bought the celebrity pedigree pad from Jared Leto in summer 2017, sharing it with Architectural Digest two years later. We don't know if Usher kept any of the Delavine's design choices, but during their time in this home, the dining room boasted emerald green walls with a rattan monkey chandelier, banana leaf and palm frond wallpaper as well was featured throughout. Usher's Hollywood home is set on a quarter acre of land and tucked away within protective walls and gates offering seclusion. Boasting a 4,000 square foot interior, his residence unfolds over two levels and offers four beds and four baths. His home underwent renovations and prior to his purchase, it was an architectural digest in 2019. When you enter his home, a formal living room greets you with a floor to ceiling brick fireplace and expansive windows. The dining room has its distinctive charm with its monkey chandelier, while the all white kitchen shows a marble topped center island and stainless steel appliances. An ensuite guest bedroom opens to a wraparound balcony through sliding glass doors, providing a serene retreat. The lower level of Usher's home features a master bedroom and additional room, creating a well-appointed living space. 
A wet bar lounge and game room seamlessly connect to the exterior where palm trees cover the grounds. Here there's a tile lined pool, spa, dining deck, built in barbecue and fire pit while completing the property's a two car garage. After checking out Usher's impressive homes over the years from Atlanta to Hollywood, we can see he has his own distinct taste. Which was your favorite? Before we go, answer this question for me. Would you be able to live in a home that was involved in a robbery during the time you lived there? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. My name's Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all next time. Bye. Hey everyone, it's Kara or Kara the Vampire Slayer as you might know me and given my love for all things house and home, I recently wanted to get more hands on myself and I started tackling DIY projects at my own house. Being a new homeowner, there are plenty of unexpected things to fix and it's cool to learn what you're doing and hopefully be able to fix it yourself. There are also plenty of DIY projects suitable for beginners like me to do and ones that improve the look of your space drastically. Follow me and I'll teach you what I'm learning and motivate you to join me. You can DIY on a budget even if you're a total beginner. Follow me on Fix It With Kara and we can chat.